It's that time of year where we set our eggs for the first incubation of the year. Uh, this go round, I'm going to be doing things a little different. Um, I have two different incubators that I'm going to be using or kind of going against each other. The first one is a Nurture Right 360 incubator. This is an incubator that's been out for several years now. I got mine back in 2015, so it's a little bit of an older model. I know they've made some slight changes to the newer ones, um, but that's the first incubator. The second one is one that's actually very special to me. It's one that I've had since I was 12 years old. It is the Little Giant 9200 Steel Air Incubator. Uh, my mom gave this incubator to me as a gift when I turned 12 years old. Um, it is still in production today. They've made obviously some changes from the one that I have. Um, I have also made several modifications to the one that I have and I'll show those to you. Um, but I did want to kind of put the two against each other, see uh, which one performs better. Um, I have my opinion on the two of them already, but I wanted to show you how each of them perform. Um, once again, including the modifications that I've made to that little giant incubator. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's get to it. So here we have the little giant 9200 still air incubator. This is the original one that I got when I turned 12 years old. Uh, it's been with me ever since that. So right away, you're going to notice some significant differences versus the one that you'd get from the store. Uh, on the top of it, you'll see that there's a ton of cords coming out of it. One of the things I did was install um, an extension cord. The reason that I did this is I wanted everything to operate from one cord and not have to take up multiple outlets. Um, so the thing that is plugged into it there, aside from the heating element, is the egg turner. Um, once again, wanted to make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, the second thing is I've installed a uh, fan, a computer fan. I took a fan out of a computer and installed it in there to change this from a still air incubator to an incubator with a fan. So um, that's the second thing that's installed. The third thing you'll will notice there is a temperature controller. So when this incubator originally came from the factory, it had a uh, little blinking light on it that you would turn a dial until it got to the 99.5. You'd have to have a thermometer installed and that light would blink on and off, on and off until, uh, or once you reach that 99.5 degree range. So those are the modifications I've made here. On the inside, the first thing you're going to see is an egg turner. This is a Farm Innovators egg turner that works with this incubator as well. Right now I'm pointing at the temperature probe that goes to the temperature controller. Behind that is going to be the computer fan that I pulled out of an old computer. So those are going to be the modifications that I've made to the inside of this incubator. So the second incubator that we're going to do is the Nurture Right 360 incubator. This is one that I've had for a couple of years. I think I got it back in 2015. So a few things I wanted to highlight on this one. Number one, you are able to um, see what the actual humidity on the inside of the incubator is, and you're able to control it through the ports on the front of the incubator. The second thing that I really like is it also has um, a countdown display that will show you how many days are left. And finally, one of the big things that I really like is the fact that it does have a built-in candler. Speaking of candling, one thing that I always recommend you do before you set your eggs is candle each egg individually. What you're looking for is any type of cracks or blemishes, things that may cause the egg not to develop quite properly or that may end up letting bacteria in. We don't want that as that's going to obviously impact uh, the success of your hatch. So once you've successfully completed candling all the eggs, you're ready to set them for the incubation process. So here in the Nurture right, I'm loading it with uh, strictly white leghorn hatching eggs. The other thing I like to do is make sure the turner is functioning properly. So I will go ahead and activate that just to make sure the eggs are moving freely. You're not having any problems with the motor. It hasn't given out while it was in storage. Uh, the next thing we'll do is go ahead and load up the little giant still air incubator. Um, in this one, I've put a mixture of eggs. I have white leghorn, barred rock, Americana, and a few Rhode Island Reds sprinkled in there as well. So um, uh, if all the eggs were to hatch, this would be uh, my biggest hatch that I've ever completed. Every year, um, since we do ship eggs throughout the country, I always like to just check fertility throughout the year a couple times. So I'll always incubate uh, a few different uh, varieties of eggs throughout the year, and I usually end up giving those chicks away. Um, but this time I had a request from a friend to uh, incubate several. He was wanting to get several chicks to replenish his flock. So 
thought I would just go ahead and load them clear full on both of the incubators. So once that's done, go ahead and put it on the lid and we'll set it. All right, now that you've seen how I've set both of those incubators up, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you think is gonna perform better, which one's gonna have the higher hatch rate, whether it's the Nurture Right 360 or the modified Little Giant 9200 Still Air Incubator. Also, if you haven't done so already, please do make sure you take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when part two of this video comes out. Once again, I appreciate you guys watching and we hope to see you on the next one.